I could fix the Saints, Mick. I know I could. <laughs> we all, no, everyone knows. No, you could. really, that's not a joke. No, that's, but it's time now, mm-hmm. and I think they. I fear they blew it before the trade deadline. I thought they were kind of pushing in the right direction, like they traded Lattimore. They, I believe, they've traded somebody, like somebody small, but. I would have traded me. I would have traded everybody. Literally, everybody can go. And the point, like, I've read, I think, like, Ben Solak wrote one. I think Barnwell wrote one. People wrote different things, like how to fix the Saints. And one of their pieces is always, well, you got to restructure a couple of the deals just because you've already been restructuring them. And I say, no. Like, it that, ends today. It ends today. We would have had to trade. It stinks now. The trade deadline's up. We need to trade as many people now as we can so we can determine who our pre-June 1st cuts are and our post-June, because you only get two post-June 1st. So I got to figure out who my pre are, who I can trade before the draft for literally anything. But the end goal, 2027 draft, Arch Manning, you're coming home. Okay. That's the end goal. Because it gives, again, if I would have had the trade deadline, I would have had this, the 25 season, and the 26 season. Like, my goal for those two years, we're taking the biggest dead cap hit you've ever seen. It's $300 million paid, paid to saints that are no longer saints. We will not be profitable in 2026. We have, there's no way they are this year. No. That's what I'm so we're again we we want to take all our medicine at once. They need like anytime the, <laughs> the number one step to like fixing your cap is like they need like eight guys to retire. I was like, damn, is that bad? They just need people to just quit playing. Yeah. But not even so you don't even get the money back until you can move like they still paying Drew Brees and Michael Thomas. So that's what I need like Cam Jordan, like Ram check. Y'all can retire. Thanks for the Olave. Thanks for the memory. <laughs> hey, man. I would have traded him, honestly. This is before oh, sure. the most recent, but I would have traded him because that's another way you can't. If you keep Olave, that's another $30 million you paying. You still in the glut. Now, he's a good player. I would generally pay for him, but the way we're re- rebuilding, he would have been gone. Kamara, I know they just gave him an extension. He would have been gone, and not even... I know you're not getting a whole lot back, and it's not even right. about it that at this point. You're getting day three picks. Got you. We just stack our day three picks. Any unrestricted guys we got this year, you playing because we need that comp pick. We need wh- whatever comp pick it is because we're not signing nobody. Like we're not. We're not. Spe- we don't have money to spend. You understand? We're right. paying dead yeah. cap next year. We just trying these next two years. Like they've got. I think they have all their picks for this draft, like, so far. Let me make sure. I don't think they're out anything. I don't know who they would have traded for. Yeah, they've got, yeah, everything. I thought it was, like, some more pinning or something like a draft last year. And they've got now got the extra third and fourth from Washington. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six picks in the first four rounds. It's a start. We're going Spencer Rattler. Again, it's all we're just setting up for Arch Manning. But the biggest part, we need Arch Manning to not enter the twenty twenty six draft. We're still we're still cleaning things out. But you can we need draft to the twenty seven draft. You can draft them and keep cleaning. Yeah, but then it starts the clock. I'd rather hear. I'd rather just stay at Texas. Just do stuff there. Um, it'd be his junior redshirt year, so it's still four years out of high. Not like you're asking him to stay six years. Right. It's just like, yo, don't I mean if you come out next year, you're probably gonna be drafted by the Panthers. Do you want do you want that? Arch. Don't you want to be the hero coming home to save everything? Wouldn't you rather have that on your shoulders? So twenty twenty seven draft arch. And then uh profit. I was gonna say, I don't know that he's fixing anything. I think I j I'm just gonna hate him, so I automatically think he stinks. You hate the other Manning brothers, and they both got they got what, four rings between them. This is yeah. I should draft this guy first. Uh, he's going so first. Th- I don't like. He's definitely going first, and we'll be there to take him. The other two did right. I know Eli was traded, oh, but yeah. he was still first. He'd still be in school until he was going first pick. That's how they was playing. Definitely. 
I just Which need I Arch. Or, yeah, or may, if next year somebody's like, hey, yeah, you're not going to be number one quarterback taken, that's how I get him to stay till 2027. I mean, the Saints can definitely get down there. They down there now, buddy. <laughs> they are down there. Who they got? <gasps> got to take. They got three thirty four sixty four top one hundred picks. Pretty good. You could start some ba- like again. I'm trying to do this for the twenty five and six and the draft class that'll come in with him. So you'll find a couple of gems. Come on, some won't work out. Some will. Some undrafted guys won't work out. Some will. But we want to have a decent base and mostly more cap. Like, we just won't have this cap hell by the time it's ready for him to, like, start playing, get serious, pay him. It's like, no, you won't have to worry about we have to restructure your rookie deal, Arch. Uh, we're already down bad. I could fix him. It's like when the Suns just started refusing to pay for first round picks, so they would sell them for nothing. And, uh, the Bulls got Luol Dang. The Celtics got Rondo just from mm-hmm. the Suns being like, we don't, we can't afford this first round pick. It just, it doesn't work with us right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there were worse ideas. He'll, even if he stinks, he'll sell a shit ton of jerseys. Most of them are going to stink anyway. Most of them sure. sell uh, <laughs> yeah. that, I don't know, was he 18, 16, whatever, that Manning jersey 16. in New Orleans would, would do numbers. Numbers. Big time. Big time. I don't disagree with that. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. That's what I think it more, even owners need to realize. It just doesn't matter. If you're bad for five years, the fans are going to keep shit. Like, what football team doesn't get fans to show up? Let's see, let's see, NFL attendance. Like, I, even the 30th, I bet they fill in 90% of the stadium most of the Right. I'm, I I don't yeah. remember the last time I saw an empty NFL season. <laughs> like, for real. Let's see. 2024 attendance. Give me overall. Chicago's dead last, 63,289. So, if I know even, like, we're this is our hope year coming off number one pick and all that, we're putting 60,000 asses in seats. And I assume that's close to, that's an old stadium. I know they're trying to get a new yeah, one currently. See. Like that's, <laughs> that might be sold out. Yeah, I wish, they don't have the, like the percentage capacity. Right. The Bears, Soldier Field. Yeah, six, excuse me, 63.5. So, so about so there. So it's sold out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they're coming again anyway. Put the hometown kid out there. They'll root for him anyway. Right. Also, him not being Derek Carr. I can't stress this enough. We'd be going from Derek Carr to Arch Manning. A massive improvement. Just a massive improvement.